It's very important for Jose Mourinho to make the right signings in key areas this summer, but just as important as bringing players in, Mourinho has to let some players leave the squad, players that he doesn't feel confident in, players that he doesn't trust to take Manchester United forward next season. And I'm going to tell you four players that I think Mourinho should sell this summer. Now, I have been saying this for, for I think the last two years now, but it definitely feels like the time is right for Wayne Rooney to call time on his Manchester United career. He's now our top goal scorer. That's an accolade that nobody can take away from him. One of our greatest ever goal scorers. But Manchester United as a club and as a side can move forward now better without Wayne Rooney than with Wayne Rooney. You know, we can take his wages off the bill. We'll have a new captain. We'll have a new talisman. And Rooney has done so much for Manchester United and I'm going to be forever grateful for that. So I don't want anybody to think this is an agenda of me against Rooney. It's just me objectively looking at a squad and the players and the players that I think should be leaving. And I just can't see a Manchester United team next year shaping up to be better than last year with Wayne Rooney in it. So I think the time is right for Rooney to leave. And I think if he goes to Everton, he can have another good few years there in the Premier League. It's just that he's not good enough, I don't think, to start for Manchester United anymore. Victor Lindelof's arrival at the club has, for me, made it almost a certainty that Chris Smalling is going to leave the club this summer. Of all the players to really ha have, I suppose, failed under Jose Mourinho in his first year, I think Chris Smalling is probably the biggest example of that. Because of how good he was in the year previous under Louis van Gaal, who's our player's player of the season, he looked like a new type of defender. But there were question marks. People were saying, look, Smalling played in this uber-defensive van Gaal formation, He's getting made to look better than he was. And unfortunately, he didn't do anything last season to show that that wasn't the case. The biggest calamity obviously started away at Chelsea and he never really recovered from that. Mourinho criticised him publicly about not playing when he was 100% fit and then the comments about a broken toe came out. No one really knew what went on. But up until the Europa League final, which was by far and away Smalling's best performance of the season, we saw nothing from Smalling to suggest that he has got a place in that squad next season. And as I said, with Victor Lindelof coming in, I think Lindelof, Bay, Rojo, Jones, Blind and Tuan Zebe, I think that's six defensive options that gives United enough cover without Chris Smalling. He's been linked with West Ham, Arsenal, Spurs. I think the 27-year-old can go on to do what Johnny Evans did when he left the club and establish himself as a top centre-back elsewhere. But just like Wayne Rooney, I don't think that's going to be at United anymore. Now, third on my list is Ashley Young. He may not even be fit to be sold this summer, but Ashley Young last year was brought in on a number of occasions when he was playing right back sometimes, left back, left wing back, left winger, right winger. Ashley Young was a sort of the handyman part of the squad. Whenever Mourinho had a gap, he would plug it with Young. And it worked last season to a point. But I don't think Young is good enough to be doing that this season after, after another summer in charge when he's brought more signings in and someone like Andreas Pereira has come back to the squad. I'd much rather see him play on left wing than Ashley Young. I'd much rather play, see Demetri Mitchell play left back than Ashley Young. I'd much rather see Axel Twanzebe play right back than Ashley Young. And I think Young has been a good squad player ever since he did join the club. But I feel now, just like Rooney and Smalling, now is the right time for Mourinho to get rid of these types of players and bring, replace them with better, younger players. We have got better, younger alternatives than Young in every position. And I just feel that the right time for him to leave the club is definitely now as well. And then fourth on my list is unfortunately Adnan Yanaze. And I say unfortunately because I was so excited about this kid. Watched him with eagle eyes in the under 18s and under 21s. And you see players at that level that really, really stand out. He stood out head and shoulders above everybody else. And in his first season under David Moyes, he was fantastic, a real shining light in a dark, dark campaign under Moyes. But ever since then, he's found himself under a manager in Louis van Gaal that didn't trust him. He went on loan to Borussia Dortmund. He wasn't trusted out there, didn't start a game in the Bundesliga, came back to Sunderland, went on loan there to hopefully play under a manager who trusted him and ended up getting relegated. He played well at Sunderland, but not well enough to really establish himself in this Jose Mourinho squad for next season. And Moyes has already criticised his work ethics and his attitude. And that's just not gonna, that's not gonna cut it under Mourinho. Now he's already been linked with the move to Real Sociedad, so he may already be gone by the time this video is out. But Yanazay should 
I think, be let go by Manchester United. But I really am sad that that one didn't work out because I had every hope that he was going to turn out just like Marcus Rashford has and become a real staple part of this Man United squad. It's just, it just hasn't happened for Yanaze, and I wish him the best of luck when he goes elsewhere. But they are four players that I think Jose Mourinho should be selling this summer. Are there any others you think we should be selling that I haven't mentioned? Maybe Marouane Fellaini, you want to get rid of him? Maybe Phil Jones as well? Let me know in the comments below if there's any other players in that squad you want to see sold this summer. That's it for today's video as always. Ladies and gentlemen, drop a like on it. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon.